I need to talk about Chapel Rome. And don't worry, I'm not talking about the quality of her work, which I think overall is good. This is something different. I need to talk about her rise to stardom. You see, there have been many stars who have seemingly come out of nowhere, but even with the quickest of ascensions, there's always a little bit of a gap between knowing about them and ubiquity. I think Chapel Roan is the only celebrity who literally came out of nowhere because the second I heard about her, she was everywhere. My wife sent me one of her songs and I instantly started seeing all of my friends talking about her. Like as if she was always here and we already knew about her and we always had. Was I the only one this happened to? Even with like Lizzo and Lil Nas X who are the last celebrities that I can think of where out of nowhere could apply to them. I heard about them and then it took me some time to keep hearing about them. They felt like a bill. Chaperon just popped up one day in everybody's minds and hasn't left. Like that Nicolas Cage movie dream scenario where everybody just starts having dreams about him for some reason. Chaperone is our dream scenario. Like what kind of hex did she perform? What kind of neurological science did she perfect to implant herself into everybody's mind so quickly. I bet it was Apple. Remember when they randomly just dropped U2's new album onto everybody's iTunes back in 2014? If you don't know about that, um, welcome to adulthood, I guess. And uh, yeah, that happened. They just gave everybody U2's album in their iTunes one day without asking. Did they pull another U2? Did they pull the U2 and think, how can we top ourselves? And then spent 10 years researching how to drop an artist directly into people's minds and they went with Chapel Rome? Were they like, we're gonna implant this medieval princess into everybody's head and everyone's just gonna be fine with it. We're gonna cram this queer Caucasian Kabuki character into the country's collective cranium. She'll have a voice unique enough to stand out but familiar enough to be comfortable so it won't catch anyone off guard. She's gonna make 80s music so everyone's just gonna assume she's always been around and no one's gonna be onto us. Well, I'm onto you, Apple. I mean, they could have done a lot worse. At least they went with someone who has a good voice and seems Seems like a good person, but just like with the U2 album, I did not give you permission to insert something into my musical library. And I definitely didn't give you permission to plant it into my head. You cannot plankton your way into my skull and plug this Maid Marian drag queen into my brain. Not today, Apple! Let someone become a pop star in one of the proper ways. Riding off of the aging fandom of a kid's show you used to be on with laughable attempts to prove you're mature now, or posting unremarkable songs to TikTok for indistinguishable young people to soundtrack their pouty looks, uncreative wisdom, and mediocre dancing. That's how it's done now, Apple. Don't invade our brains to make it happen. But yeah, Chapel, if you ever see this, I am really happy for your success. You seem like a great person.